Okay, how to make a request to the eBay, eBay API and 14 lines of code. All right, um, the first thing you're going to need to do is, if you don't already have it, uh, pip install eBay SDK, um, and then do all that. And the same thing with Beautiful Soup, um, if you don't already know how to do that. So go do that. Um, now, as quickly as I can do it, once you have your dependencies installed, we're going to do from eBay SDK dot finding import connection as finding. Then we're going to do from BS4 import beautiful soup. Now, I have my variable keywords and I'm going to uh, set it equal to input so I can put in my keywords of whatever I'm searching for, like white piano or whatever it is that you're searching for. Um, then I have my variable called API. And this is going to be finding and um, with my app ID. And here's your, I don't know what this stuff is called. I just know how to use it. So here's your key or whatever um, that you're going to get from the eBay developers program. It's go.developer.ebay.com. Go there, sign in, get your keys and all that information. This is mine. Don't use it. Doesn't matter if you do, though, because I've got a couple of them. Um, then... Please remember to set your config file equals equal to none because I still can't figure out how to do the YAML file even still. Uh, but I haven't cared to use it in such a long time, so this is what I use anyway. Now I've got my variable API request. Uh, it's going to be a dictionary, and I'm going to have um, lowercase k keywords um, is going to be the key and then the value is going to be uh, my variable keywords whatever I typed in here so if it's white piano it's going to be white piano there then my output selector just because it's useful uh, again with lowercase o and then a capital S um, is going to be seller info because uh, I just want some seller information um, to come with my results now uh, my response I'm going to set my response equal to api.execute um, find items dot or excuse me find items by keywords um, then there's also find items advanced there's find completed items and I think several different um, really good ones there's probably a bunch of them um, just go check it out on the website it's all right there then uh, comma and my dictionary which is API underscore request now uh, after I get my response I want to parse it out so I'm setting soup equal to beautiful soup response dot content lxml next line total entries this is going to be the uh, number of results that you got for your query and uh, I convert it into an integer and it's soup dot find total entries all lowercase um, all uh, one word no spaces dot text um, Again, that was so I could turn it into an integer, and then items is going to be items is going to be my uh, list of all my results, and that's going to be soup dot find all item, and then to print out the zeroth item in my results, we're just going to hit input items at index zero, and I'm going to just do that for you right now, and as I as my keyword, I'm going to just use piano. Um. And this is what it looks like when it first comes back. Um, it's a little bit, you know, crazy looking, obviously. But whatever you want out of here, you can get it much more easily if you just do um, dot item ID or dot title or dot, you know, whatever the tags are in here. I'm trying to find them. So, you know, view item URL, um, seller info, etc. So what I'm going to do real quick is comment that out and then just show you the one that I parsed out already um, so I've got category which is um, I got the list of items and I'm, I'm gonna iterate through items and I'm gonna say for item in items cat meaning category is item dot category name dot string dot lower and this is so I can kinda uh, standardize everything I guess um, I think I don't know sometimes I do dot, dot string or dot text um, I think they're really the same thing um, 
But anyway, so I got category, title, price, URL, seller, listing type, and condition. Just copy all this down. Um, you'll understand how to use it once you just do it and play with it and change things. You'll figure it out. It's really not hard at all, I promise. So I'm going to do this again, and I'm going to show you how it comes out a little more easy to understand this time. And I hope that you can see it. I made the letters a lot bigger this time. All right, so this is the category. It's electronic keyboards. This is the title, new black 61 key electronic music keyboard, electric piano, organ, whatever. Um, and this is going to be the URL, so we can check it out right here. Uh, I think this is the guy who is selling it, um, and then it's new, and then this is whatever you call it. So let me try to look at this real quick. I'm going to just paste the URL, see what pops up here. And it's going to be, you know, exactly... Uh, uh, okay, this thing right here. So, like I said, new black 61 key electronic, whatever. It's got the guy's name. Um, if we want, we can get you know this information, um, his feedback percentage. I believe you can get the images. Um, I mean, you can get. I think you can get the description. Um, you know, all the all the product details. Um, anything that you want to know um, about the item or the seller or what time it listed. Uh, I think you can get, you know, like the ratings, the variations, if it's a small, medium, large, and all this different uh, information and content, regardless of what it is that you're looking for. So um, you can specify by anything, anything that you want and use whatever keywords that you want. Just jump on the website, uh, look it up, read about it some, um, give me a thumbs up or a like or a subscribe or whatever, and add me on Facebook, ask me questions. I love to help the best that I can. Um, and try to figure it out because that's the best way to do it, to understand and conceptualize. So, all right, thanks. And let me try to figure out how to stop this. Okay.